What's up guys? Today I want to talk about the biggest mistake that I see new and experienced marketers making that's causing them to ruin their brand, lose trust with clients, and ultimately set themselves up for failure in the long term. If you don't know who I am, my name is Ron Carter. I've been in the digital marketing space for the last six years. And over the last two years, I've collected somewhere around 220,000 in revenue while working in a sales job and working in my own business. Uh, and I've made a lot of these mistakes. And I'm sharing this so hopefully you don't make this same mistake for the same amount of time that I did. So this whole mistake stems off of this one principle, and that's over-promising and then under-delivering. Now, I know I just told you what the mistake is, so you probably want to go check out some other video now. You're like, oh, I got it. I got my dopamine. But stick around because I'm going to break down exactly what these things are, what it means, and what it actually looks like when you do this. What does it mean to overpromise in the first place? Right? In our marketing, anytime that you buy something from somebody, a digital product or a digital service, it's usually because they want a specific outcome. So we have this promise, like, hey, you buy this thing, this is what you get, right? And if it's courses, if it's an affiliate product that you're promoting, if it's your own thing, if it's your coaching services, you're usually selling some sort of transformation. Like their, their life is going to change in some way from investing in your product or service. And so what a lot of people do is they, they overpromise. They say, look, like they'll talk about one client that they had that had some amazing transformation. And then they'll say that you're going to have that transformation too, or they'll imply it at least. Like, we've all seen this. Make $10,000 in the next 30 days. And it's like, yeah, just because just because one person out of the thousand people that bought from you did that doesn't mean that everybody is. And, uh, and so this is a big problem. So here's why people do it in the first place. It makes it easier to sell. It makes it easier to sell. So in the short term, it sounds like a good idea. It's like, yeah, you promise them the world. You get on a sales call and you say, hey, it's all going to happen. We're going to make this happen. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Because then they pay, they pay you money and you make money, right? And in the short term, in the very short term, for you as the seller, sounds like a good idea. But let's look at the opposite side of this. When you over promise like this, the prospect or your, your now client expectations of what they're going to receive from your program or your service or your course is their expectations are sky high, like ridiculously high, right? And because of this, even when you provide a good service, even when the course is great, uh, but maybe they don't take action. This happens a lot. People who invest in courses, coaching programs, and they just don't show up for calls. And then like they, what do you know? They don't get the transformation, but it doesn't matter what happens in between them investing and them not getting the transformation. All they're going to see as a client is that you promised this and that they did not get it. And this turns, this turns into unhappy people who talk about their unhappiness to other people. This is how you create negative word of mouth which is detrimental to any business. So on the flip side of things, what happens when we under promise and over deliver? What's that experience like for the client and for you as the seller? Here's some things that I've noticed doing this. Number one, it's harder to sell. It's harder to sell. That means you get, you don't get as many clients as quickly, which means that you make less money in the short term. Seems like a bad idea, right? Wrong. It's actually a great idea to under-promise and over-deliver because what actually happens is people hop in to your program or your service when they do come in and they don't expect much from it. Their expectations aren't super high. I mean, they still have some expectations, of course, that's why they invest. But when you start the service delivery, it exceeds their expectations. And so here's an example of what this looks like. I have a community, it's a, it's a paid community, and this isn't a plug for that or anything. This is just a story about what happens when you under-promise and over-deliver. And so uh, in this community, when I'm, on, when I'm having conversations with people via Zoom and we're, and we're talking about it and then they invest in it and they hop into the community, um, I find out exactly what it is that they need, like where they're stuck, 
And then I'm like, okay, we can help you with that inside the community. I don't mention anything else that's going on in the community at all. I just talked about the one thing that they're, that they have a, a problem with. And, um, so there's one particular client, uh, he was having trouble with his messenger conversations and, and turning them into closes and like, he wasn't doing it at all. And I said, well, I could definitely support you with that. It's what we do inside the community. And then once he hopped into the community and started going through some of the course material, uh, he didn't know, but I had a, a lot of course material about business fundamentals and how to really identify who it is that you're serving, how to craft your message so that you're only talking to those people. Because one of the problems with his conversations is he's having conversations with anyone and everyone. And it's like, we got to have them with the right people. But he didn't know that or understand that. Long story short, he hopped in the community, started going through the course material. And then I saw him posting on Facebook, posting on Facebook, talking about me and talking about the community and saying that it's so much more than he thought it was, that he's actually learning all these real business fundamentals that will apply to what he's promoting right now and anything he decides to do in the future and how excited he is to be a part of it. This is what happens when you under promise and you over deliver. Over delivery simply means that they're getting more than they expected. And we want to always over deliver, right? And it's impossible to over deliver when you promise people the moon and the stars and that the whole universe will be theirs. And they'll be like Thanos with their five in infinity stones like on their, on their glove as soon as they invest in your program, right? Because there's, there's, there's not much more you can deliver than that, right? And so it makes it impossible to over deliver when you are over promising. And so now because of this, after I noticed this, I was like, oh, because I only talked about the one thing he had a problem with, and then he came in and he's like super stoked about all the other stuff that he didn't even know that he was getting, that he's now getting. Uh, because of that, it's kicked off positive word of mouth. He's telling other people about this without me asking him to, he's just doing it. And this is great for longevity with a business. So yes, you will get sales slower at first because of the fact that you're not promising the world, right? You're just saying, hey, we're gonna help you with this one specific thing. But when people come in and then they're delighted with what they're receiving and, uh, and they don't expect that they're gonna be a millionaire in 30 days, they know it's gonna take work, you're just honest with them. Like, look, some people have gotten this result, some people have gotten zero results. It all depends on what, what you actually do when you hop in. People are gonna appreciate that. And the people that do hop in are going to be excited about the thing, about the extra stuff that they're getting. And they're also going to have patience. They're going to know that it takes time, that they have to develop skills. This leads to better clientele. And then they go tell other people about it. And so this is what's going to set your business up for the long term, for success long term. I'm talking not just like two, three months from now. I'm talking years down the road. You continue to do this for years and then it's going to continue to grow. Now, something that I've done with this, and I encourage you guys to do as well, is I don't even promise a monetary goal. I don't say, hey, you're gonna make a thousand bucks in the first 30 days after you join this thing. I don't say any of that. There's so many marketers that are like, make 900, make $900 a day. It's like, I don't, I don't promise any of that. What I, what I do talk about are the skills that they are going to be able to hone if they show up consistently. And also in my marketing, I talk about how those skills lead to revenue, which, which leads to income. On top of that, I, I even say like, it all depends on you though. I can't promise that you're going to make this much because I, I have no control over what you do and don't do. Like I can give you the materials, I can give you the tools, I can give you the support, but it doesn't mean that you're going to actually use the tools and utilize the support. I have no control over that. So it's up to you. I let them know that. And yeah, because of this, there's less sales. It's not as sexy of a message. I'm like, if you're promising that somebody's going to just take a pill and then instantly lose weight, like the moment that they swallow it, you're gonna sell more of those pills then if you're saying, hey, yeah, you can take this pill and uh, you maybe you won't be as hungry, but you still have to work out, go to the gym, 
um, and do that every day for the next 60 days and then you'll lose weight. Less people are gonna buy that one, the, the second one, right? But the people that do buy it and then follow through with the action are going to be happier customers. Like imagine if you were selling a weight loss pill that uh, makes people lose weight the moment that they swallow it, except it only works 10% of the time. A lot of people are gonna buy it and 90% of the people that buy it are gonna hate you. And they're gonna tell other people not to go buy it. See, and this is what most marketers are doing. Most people that are selling products online are selling their uh, make, th make $10,000 in 30 days program. And then only 10% of the people are actually doing that, maybe even less. And those people have prior experience. And then the other 90% of the people are like, this shit sucks. And then they go tell other people, don't do that. That's the biggest mistake. Talk about the skills that people are going to learn if they apply themselves and the people that do hop in, it's gonna be less people at first, but the people that do hop in are gonna be delighted, they're gonna be happy, and they're gonna tell other people. Hope this was helpful for you.